Hey you guys, are you there? Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. We go live at two o'clock. Ah, I see Ian and Eric are here already. Thanks for joining me. And Luke, hi Luke. All you kids filing into the room. <laughs> it's a lovely day, good day for a, for a read aloud. Um, Philip's kids are here, Luke's here, and uh, Buffalo's here, and Evan and Nathan are here, and uh, the Phillips kids, and Matthew and Sammy are here, and who else is here? <sighs> I love saying hello to everybody, everybody that I can. Ethan and Aaron and Sam and Will and Evan and the Glass Gang and Bryce and Butler, New Jersey, and, and they're going by so fast, I can't read them so fast. Uh, <laughs> Haney family and uh, oh, it's got to slow down. Too many of you. Clark, Ella, and Jack, and 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 <laughs> Chris, and Josh, and Leo, and Brooke. Boy, this is you really need to be a speed reader here. Um, and Jonah and Brianna and Bennett and uh, Braden <laughs> and Natalie. I you all come in at the same time. Clark is here, and Adam and Seth and and Ellie from Illinois, and Lucy is watching, and, and um, Madison and Mackenzie, hi to all of you. Finn and Stella are here, and Jocelyn from Florida says hi. And uh, I'm so happy that you're all here. Tell your friends we got uh, four minutes, four minutes before we get, five minutes before we get started. Um, call your cousin in, across the country. Tell your friend down the street. Tell them to log on quick so they can all be part of this thing. Jack's here, and Walker, and Blake, and, Delaney and uh, James and Clara and uh, Declan and Ryan and Alyssa and, and Henry and Kentucky and Dylan is here. Everybody's here. Everybody who's anybody is here. And I see each and every one of you, like Emerson in Toronto and Ben in Westfield and Claire and uh, Owen and Dean and Mallory are here and and Grantster is here, and uh, William, Abby, and Isabel, and Bailey is excited, and Mitch is ready to go, and Alex and Zach from Cranford are here, and uh, who else? <laughs> Leah and Justin are here, and Michael and Christina. Uh, it's, uh, let's see, who? Nathan's here, and C the Crosbys are here from North Carolina. Uh, McKaylin from Rochester, hi to all of you. We got uh, three minutes before we... Before we start, uh, Colin uh, is here, and Jay, and Dina, or Dina, and uh, and Maya, and uh, Nolan, and Zoe, and Luke, and Dylan from Philly, and Ella, and Eric. <sighs> Thanks to all of you for coming in. Uh, Amy, Charlie, Eddie, um, Zoe, Lucas, Olivia, Avery, and Ethan are all here. Uh, Mia is here. Uh, I wish I could answer, read your question, but it just scrolled by me. <laughs> Connor and Isabel and Alexander and uh, Olivis, Olivia, Olivia, uh, Josephine is here from Pennsylvania, uh, and the Johns, um, Nina and Miles, uh, Hattie and Oscar. Thanks, you, thank you all for coming. We got three minutes to go. I'll take a sip of water. Charles is here and Will, Caitlin and Ethan, Bay City, Michigan. Uh, and Ethan and Evan and Reagan and Patrick and Addison from North Carolina. So happy to see you all. <sighs> Bet you ate a lot of ice cream this week, eh? Aubrey, uh, Andrew, Ryan, and Lucas in Minnesota. I love it when people all over the country, e even people all over the world have been tuning in, which is so exciting for me. Liz is here from Goshen, New York, and, and uh, the Champ Kids, and Daniel from Morristown. Uh, we've got two minutes to go, you guys. Um, Conway kids are here. Yes. Um, and Braden and Chloe are here. And so is Sophia, uh, Eliana, and Carmela, and Bailey Rafferty from Dublin, California. Okay. Uh, Sean and Caitlin. And we got two minutes. Jack and Ben from Tampa. Levi is here. Saginaw. Michigan, Liam. Hi, Liam. We're going to get started in just 
one minute. And I'm excited. Somebody's eating ice cream out there. I didn't have any ice cream today, but maybe I'll have some after we're finished here. Okay. Uh, Andrew and James. Oh, it's almost time. It's almost time to get started. I better stop looking at your names and look at what uh, look at the clock. <sighs> okay. It's almost time. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, 1.59, my second favorite time of the day. <clears throat> okay. It's go time, baby. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I so appreciate it. Uh, my name is Dan Gutman. I'm the author of the My Weird School series and lots of other books for kids, too. And speaking of which, our question of the day, uh, let's start with that. It comes from Lydia from Iowa. And Lydia asked, for you, what is the hardest part about writing books? And Lydia, me personally, I feel like I'm pretty good at writing beginnings to stories, and I'm pretty good at writing endings to stories. And it's the middle part that is the difficult part for me. Like, I did this book called The Homework Machine that some of you might have read, and it's obviously about a kid who invents a machine that does your homework automatically. And I knew it was going to start with this group of kids inventing a machine. And I also knew it was going to end with the machine becoming so powerful and so dangerous that the kids had to destroy it by throwing it off a cliff, okay, actually throwing it into the Grand Canyon. So I knew how it was going to begin, I knew how it was going to end. And the whole middle part, that was the more challenging part for me personally as an author. And that's true of all my books, I think. Okay, so enough of that. It's time to get back to our book of the week, which is Mr. Will Needs to Chill. We're coming towards the end of this book now. We're going to finish it tomorrow. But where we left off was uh, Mr. Will is the ice cream man. And he drives his ice cream truck, the ding-dong truck to school, you know. And while Mr. Klutz uh, was away on, on principal, principal week, principal camp, um, Dr. Carbles was the principal for the week, and, and he's har a horrible man. And he turns the school into a jail, and he won't let the, the Mr. Will and the Ding Dong truck come anywhere near the school. He gets a restraining order, in fact. So we left off where uh, Mr. Klutz has come back from principal camp, and he not only lets the kids get ice cream, he even gives them dollar bills to go buy ice cream at the ice cream truck. And the last, in the last chapter, the kids went to the ice cream truck, but instead of Mr. Will being there, there was another guy who, who was there, and it was Mr. Bill, some other ding-dong guy. So now we're going to read chapter 7, which is titled, Mr. Mill. <laughs> okay, here we go. You guys ready? gather around the big screen TV and the tablet and laptop and smartphone, whatever you're watching me on, and let's get started with chapter seven. Mr. Bill's octopus push-up pop was yummy. I could hardly taste any octopus at all. Ryan got a coconut popsicle dip. Michael got a rocket pop. Alexia got a double dip butterscotch swirl cone. It was the greatest day of our lives. When we got outside, when we got inside the school, all the kids and teachers were smiling again. The day seemed to fly by. Mr. Klutz was right. Eating ice cream first thing in the morning does help you learn. At lunchtime in the vomitorium, Ms. LaGrange made yummy chicken nuggets and tater tots for us. Everybody was happy. I must admit, without mean Dr. Carbles around, school was kind of fun. But don't tell the gang I said that. They would never let me hear the end of it. The next morning, I could hardly wait to get to school. Mr. Klutz was waiting for us at the, on the front steps. Can we buy ice cream again today, Neil asked. Of course, replied Mr. Klutz, as he handed each of us a dollar bill. I can, I can hear the ding-dong truck coming down the street right now. We all ran over to the ding-dong truck as soon as it pulled up to the curb. 
I was expecting to see Mr. Bill, the new ding dong driver guy. But that's when the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. Mr. Bill wasn't in the truck. It was some other guy. He had red hair. And here's Jim's picture of the other guy who is now driving the ding dong truck. Where's Mr. Bill, we all asked him. Mr. Bill's on vacation, said the red-haired guy. I'm Mr. Mill. What? How could Mr. Bill be on vacation already? He just started work yesterday. Oh, well, as long as we get ice cream every morning, I don't care who the ding-dong guy is. I'll have a chocolate magic shell bomb pop, I told Mr. Mill. Sure, coming right up, he replied. Hey, did you know we've had ice cream as far back as the second century BC? Really, I asked. Wouldn't it be rotten by now? No, I mean, ice cream was invented a long time ago, Mr. Mill told me. Alexander the Great liked to eat snow and ice flavored with honey. That's nice, I said. I'll have a chocolate magic shell bomb pop. But Mr. Mill didn't give me a chocolate magic shell bomb pop like I asked. He just kept talking. During the Roman Empire, he said, Emperor Nero sent runners up into the mountains to get snow. Then he had it flavored with fruit. That's interesting, I said. Can I have a chocolate magic shell bomb pop now, please? Did you know, said Mr. Mill, that Marco Polo went to the Far East and came back to Italy with a recipe for something that was very much like ice cream? I didn't know that, I said. Would you please give me a chocolate magic shell bomb pop? By the time the United States became a country, ice cream was really popular, said Mr. Mill. In fact, George Washington spent $200 on ice cream during the summer of 1790. Here's of Jim's pictures of George Washington holding ice cream cones, which I don't think George Washington actually ever had an ice cream cone. Okay. What a snooze fest. Could Mr. Mill possibly be any more boring? All I wanted was to eat some ice cream. You don't really have any chocolate magic shell bomb pops, do you? I asked Mr. Mill. Sure I do, he replied as he reached into the freezer and handed me a chocolate magic shell bomb pop. Here you go. I was about to unwrap my chocolate magic shell bomb pop when I stopped. Hey, I said, that was sort of a history lesson you just gave me. Are you a history teacher? No, don't be silly, said Mr. Mill. I'm just a ding dong man. Mr. Will is, Mr. Mill is weird. All right, that's chapter seven. You ready for chapter eight? Chapter eight is not about Mr. Mr. Mill, it's about Mr. Hill, Mr. Hill, okay. The chocolate magic shell bomb pop was awesome. I couldn't wait to get to school the next morning so I could get more ice cream from Mr. Mill. We all ran over to the truck as soon as we heard the ding dong jingle. But Mr. Mill wasn't there. It was some other ding dong guy. And, and here he is, the, a new ding dong guy every, every day. <laughs> okay. Where's Mr. Mill? I asked him. Mr. Mill is sick today, the new ding dong guy told me. I'm Mr. Hill. What would you like? Can I have a ding dong double dip Dixie Doodle, I asked. Sure, coming right up, said Mr. Hill. By the way, by the way, <laughs> do you know what ice cream is made of? No, I told him, I just like to eat it. Ice cream is made out of cream or milk, sugar, and sometimes eggs and flavoring, he told me. And each mom molecule of sugar contains 12 carbon atoms, 22 hydrogen atoms, and 11 oxygen atoms. Mr. Hill took out a pad and started drawing a weird picture. It's a 
<laughs> the molecular comp comp composition of sugar, I guess. I think that's accurate. Nice picture, I said. Can I have my ding dong double dip Dixie Doodle now? After all the ingredients are combined, they get pasteurized, said Mr. Hill. Do you know what pasteurized means? Uh, they leave the ice cream out in a pasture for a while, I guessed. No, said Mr. Hill. That's when a liquid is heated to a very high temperature to kill off the germs and blah, 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 it is cool, blah, 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 Louis Pasteur, blah, 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 French scientist who invented it, blah, 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 blah. He went on like that for a million hundred minutes. What a snooze fest. How about that ding dong double dip Dixie Doodle, I finally asked. Pasteur is famous for his discoveries, blah, 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 help prevent diseases, blah, 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 germs, blah, 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 said Mr. Hill. And here's AJ listening to any grown-up grown speaking. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay. I was going to just walk away, but suddenly Mr. Hill stopped blabbing about germs. He reached into the freezer and pulled out a ding-dong double-dip Dixie Doodle for me. I took off the wrapper and had a bite. It was yummy. All that stuff you told me about ice cream sounded a lot like science class, I told Mr. Hill. You're not really a science teacher, are you? No, don't be silly, said Mr. Hill. I'm just a ding-dong man. Mr. Hill is weird. Well, that is chapter eight. And you know what? Tomorrow, it's time we're going to have the big surprise ending. So we are going to finish this story tomorrow. Very exciting. Um, and, oh, before we do the uh, joke of the day, I'll give you a peek at uh, the next book, next week's book we're going to read. It's going to be called Miss Newman Isn't Human. And Miss Newman is Sprinkles... Uh, Newman, the local uh, TV meteorologist, the weather lady, is coming to the school. Very exciting. Great story. We're going to read next week. Okay. Ready for the joke of the day, you guys? All right. Here it comes. I know you like my jokes of the day. Okay. Uh, the joke of the day is, what did the hat say to the tie? Hmm? What did the hat say to the tie? The answer is, you hang around. I'll go on ahead. <laughs> All right. Thanks to uh, my friends uh, for the uh, for the theme song. And here it is. My weird school. I'm AJ and my school's a mess. My weird school. Before a school, it's fine, I guess. My weird school where art is cool and the teachers are strange as a whole. Where is younger than walkers and little Jay-Z is crazy. This is Cody and Floney. And this lady is Sadie. And then there's a principal. His name's Mr. Klutz. And man, oh man, is that man not? My weird school is a million hundred hours long. My weird school where normal things do not belong. My weird school where art is cool. And the teachers are strange as a rule. And my weird school. My weird See you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. We'll finish this book. Oops, stop that. We'll finish this book tomorrow. See you then. I'm all out of breath.